Hello everybody, welcome back to another Roblox video. Uh, it's been a long time since I did a scripting video, but here we go again. So today I have a very unique and special one for you. I haven't seen any specifically the this kind of scripting tutorial, so might as well do it because I'm running out of ideas. So today I'm going to show you how to make a UI friendless. Yeah, it's crazy, but I'll show you how it works. That's actually pretty cool. What it does is, um, when you play the game, you can use it for any type of game you want. It'll just display a UI of every friend you have and their names. And I'll show you right now how it works. It's a super simple script. And these are actually all my friends. So, yes, uh, Pokey has friends. How dare you? How dare you assume my friend list? Is that even a thing? I don't know. Okay, actually, I'm going to make this a scrolling, because I think that's not 200 players. <laughs> um, okay, right there. Okay, that's good. From this, and scroll on there, and delete that, and delete that, and then it's name this frame. Alright, so I think this should allow us to make it, like, scroll. Okay, so, yeah, we can scroll. There you go. See? These are all my 200 friends so shout out to all of them they each one of them i have a, a memory with them already like how we became friends could be a very old game some of them are super old friends uh but yeah this is pretty cool i can keep track of my friends now instead of you know going to the roblox friend list and clicking that next button and what they're doing i just le recently learned how to do this um i'm gonna start learning like how to put like last time they were joined I don't know if they're online or not, all, all those stuff. I know, I think it's possible. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the video. It's very simple. I'm not gonna get like, I'm just gonna go run over on how it works. So, first is um, you do a game players, a player ID connect function player local ID. So, you're getting the player's ID. So, the UI, so th this would allow us to make the UI um pop up for that specific player only unless you want somebody else's friends to pop up in another player's screen that's possible you know instead of in here no not there i can hear instead of um you can just change this local friends id you can just change it to like the id of the certain player that you want to pop up like i can make every time a player every time a player joins i can make i can make my friends pop up in their screen that's what you want go ahead but yeah so every time a player joins i get their id and i fire it as a remote event right there and then in the ui uh screen you i call it right here this is at a all kind of event so i call the fired event so i get the play uh get the player you know game the players don't do local player just game the players uh this was just a test to see if it actually passes so local friends id so i get the friends id you know then I call the IDs. Remember in here, I fire ID, which is that. So I, fi I fire that data, and I call it here in the on client event. So right now, the ID is local friends ID equals the ID of the player that joined, which is you. Local player friends. So this is a table. It's gonna like list all like all the friends that you have or I have. So, local success, page, pico function, return players, get friend, asking friends ID. So, this is just getting your, uh, this is just getting your friends, uh, the, this, ex, this, go, this is going to your, getting, getting your ID and getting your friends right here. All this in one line. You're getting your friend. So, if, you know, if that's true, or like, if that works, uh, you get to the local info equals page dot get current page. So, you know how you, in the friends list you have all that you know that pages okay but works so we're like this um it's just gonna run like a little loop here friend info and this this inserting uh the player's friends here uh right here and it inserts uh friend info and player's friends into the uh table um if not page that is finished then uh page advance to the next page so yeah like i said it's getting every single friend you have in each page and yeah so now here last but not least you get four iv in paris paris a friend so you can just print it out i printed out to test it 
So what it does, see here, the UI grid layout allows you, so every time, so you don't have to change, like every time you add something new, for example, like that, it will automatically move it to the next one so it doesn't go on top of it, which is a pretty cool tactic, I gotta say. But you, you don't have to keep moving it to the next one, you know, it's pretty good. So you get the frame, you get that, you clone it, frame the frame the text equals V that username. So you clone it, which will make which will make another friend thing. So every time, every time it goes to it loads, it finds a friend. It will make a, its own UI. Uh, it will change the text in here, the fr name, into the name of your friend. Right here, and it will change the image label image to the avatar of your friend, and that's typically how it works. And you can have your own little, you know, that. You know, I'll make it even cooler. You know what? I'll make it even cooler. I will do this every one second. Um, this happens. That, see? It'll just add up. Bum, bum. So you can just have your friends just going. <laughs> JD, Anesthesia, Colin, Awesome, Delores, EKJ145, German Dog, Aloha Eli, Robite, Dev B, Awesome Dude, 34477. Bro, much well, that's VB1. That's a pretty old friend I have there. He's work. He's a developer. Your boy Teddy, a real friend. Octavius, Natty Cat, Planet, Black, Pokemon, Pikachu, which is new ever. Dev Dudes, Multiverse. Hey, I missed that guy. I didn't. I think I had lost contact with him, but I still have him Discord though. Chef, Apex, Mink Mink. I know him. Blaze, I know him. Error Ben, I know him. Nathan and the Brandons. I pray a pro every single one of them. Now the rocks, I know him. I'm just giving shoutouts. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out. You know what? I think it'd be cool, actually. Nah, never mind. Uh, I'll let you guys mess with it. And yeah, I hope you guys this hope you guys this video give you a bit of a D and you know, to add into your game that you're creating at the moment or to make a certain game. But yeah. Um, I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment, and any new scripting tutorials you would like me to do. Peace out.